Thanks for joining us again. It's been a long week. We have a lot to share with you, a lot of new things. Uh, before we do go into that, I just wanted to remind everyone to please like the video. If you're new, subscribe. It really helps support our family. And uh, go ahead and hit that bell. That way you get notifications on new videos that pop up. Look who's back at another hardware store. Me, looking for some reciprocating saw blades. With a little bit of help, we found them. Yep, looks good. I'm gonna take just a moment to have you look at this. How the base of these seats are. When buying your bus, check the base of the seats. You do not want them to look like this. You want them to be flat. Now that's done. Woohoo! Yeah, hey! <sighs> So as you can see, the past couple of weeks have been a little frustrating. The seat frames are bolted all the way through the floor. You have to get on the other side to actually go through and lock the, the nut that's under there in place. Linda spent a lot of time down there. Uh, some are pretty easy though. They, you can get to them through the storage compartment under the bus, but others are going to be underneath the bus but above the gas tank or blocked by different pieces of framework on the bus and it was just really difficult to get to, get to or even impossible so we had to start cutting. Fortunately my father was able to help us out and we got a lot more done this week. It's really exciting to see and feel this progress finally. Uh, as you can see here this is uh, me just trying to get that uh, flooring, that strip that goes down the center of the bus, really sticky, and uh, even, I mean, it, we got a lot done. Even a Harley had a chance to help, and it, it was really nice. Oh, I don't like this one. Huh. None of these are loose enough to, to get well, out I of can I mean, it's not going to oh, do any good know. for this one, but I, I can get these loosened up. Well, what we Super can also careful. do, if we okay. get that, pull this up, then we can pull this vinyl up around it. Yeah. And that would give us a gap. Okay. Pull straight up. There you go. Then you job. just, there you go. Now, there Harley did a really, really good job. Uh, she was patient with us, and she was so eager to help out, and she did such a good job. And she added to the atmosphere, that playfulness, it was great. Uh, with my dad coming by, which we're both so appreciative of him doing this, we managed to get the seats cut out, the final seven seats that we had just sitting in this bus, got them cut out. Um, while he worked on getting the bolts out, I started getting the flooring done around them, that way we could get better access to the bolts. He was also breaking the seats down for us, getting the legs off of the backs. Uh, that way we could just stock, the, stock them up a little bit better and they were a little bit more compact. This really made a big difference in just getting around and maneuvering and having space to work with. And a sense of accomplishment. Actually being able to see some floor space was absolutely amazing. Yeah, it was a very, very big boost to morale because uh, we were really just getting frustrated and kind of just disappointed with the progress that we had made. And we weren't expecting this to happen overnight, but we 
we wanted to we wanted to get it done. Um, at this point, we were also working on getting the emergency seat out. Have to mention this because you don't see it, but Linda is down under the bus working with my dad uh, while I had been um, kind of watching Harley and Ivy, making sure that they weren't doing anything too crazy around the bus as they wandered around. Uh, but Linda came out looking pretty dirty. Every single inch of me, it felt like like my back, my arms, I even had stuff all over my face, just dirt and grime and spider webs. It was absolutely disgusting. But again, we've been working on getting these seats out for over two weeks. So it was essentially anything I could do to get these seats out. Yeah, sure. I'll do. And that final push, which we did, um, sort of. <laughs> you'll see here in a bit but we have all the seat frames up and we're really excited about it okay guys so we got pretty much everything out as far as the seats except for these pesky little legs right there um, but yeah this is where the bus is as of right now so we are calling it a day. We got some of the, all the trim up in the middle. So we got some of the linoleum up. Um, we're done. It's hot. Bye. So yeah, it's, it's, it's been a few weeks uh, and they've been a lot of fun and really, really frustrating. Very frustrating. A <laughs> lot of really late nights and long hours. Um, some cuts and bruises along the way. Yeah. Uh, we knew that getting into the project though, um, we have used more tools, I would say, in the past couple weeks than we have our entire lives. Sadly, that's true. Probably. <laughs> um, but we wanted to jump on real quick beyond just showing you what all we've been up to. Uh, it's really early in the morning slash really late at night however you want to look at it. Uh, <laughs> Tanaro. Tanaro, yes. Um, we'll tell you about that a little, little bit more in our next video. But we wanted to jump on and just talk to you a little bit about some exciting news that has happened this week. That... Uh, we found a conversion company to do our roof raise. That. And it's... Well, it's pretty local. It's San Antonio and we're in the Austin area, so yeah. it's, you know, less than two hours from us. The Lone Star... Lone Star Schoolies. Yeah. So um, that's really exciting. And they do a lot more than just roof raises, so we may look into them doing the electrical, the plumbing, and we're also going to have them install our windows, and it's all going to be done before Christmas. Yeah. Um, we'll go into that process also later on as we get closer to it. Uh, it's, we're gonna need to figure out just the whole purchasing of RV windows and things like that. So we're learning as you guys are and I'm sure it will be entertaining at the least. We'll see. <laughs> but uh, with that, yeah, it's, I want to go to bed. You want to go to bed? Yeah. Sounds good. Night. <laughs> and you always have to take time for a dance party when you have two little girls. So much for watching and we will see you very soon have a good one and don't forget to like and subscribe bye